Hey, it's Tony. I'm going over my uh, rig and truck camper. I know a lot of people probably want to know um, information about our truck and our camper, so I'll go over that now. This is our 2021 Chevy Silverado 3500 HD LTZ model. Um, I got this at a dealership uh, last May of 2021. That's pretty much stock. Um, the only thing addition to the truck that I did was the bug guard the uh, running boards, the uh, window visors. Um, I have a hard roll up uh, tonneau cover, which is uh, not on there right now. I got upgraded the floor mats of the truck. Then inside, I installed this dash cam. Um, I think I got it from, I think it was called Black Box My Car. Uh, this is a three camera system. So of course I got the front camera, the internal camera, and then the rear camera. Which is only good if uh, the camper's not on there. And then um, what I did, I got a three-way um, cigarette uh, power source. Um, because Chevy trucks, uh, this is always on. Um, you can make a change in the um, uh, fuse box to not have that, but... Um, I got this instead. Uh, I can control the power from here just by a simple click of the button. Um, plus I could choose what ports of the 12 volts are on. Um, right now I have the dash cam, the, uh, I have a, something for, you know, charger phones and the camera for the camper, which is located there um, also tells me the voltage of my battery um, internal temperature if it's uh, yeah so it's 58 degrees and I could choose like I said which port to turn on and off and just holding the button turns it off most of the time, if I remember to turn it on or off um, while driving, you know, to turn on the dash cam, I try to remember turning that on. Um, if I forget to turn it off, there is a setting in here where you can say, hey, if the voltage uh, went down like 12 volts or below, automatically shut off, which is nice. I think that's pretty much it for the inside of, you know, what I uh, added to the truck. Now uh, for the back. I have this uh, rubber mat installed just to get ready for the uh, truck camper. Um, but when I got there at the dealership in Wisconsin to pick up the camper in December, uh, they had to create this platform to raise my uh, raise the ca camper to clear the tunnel cover um, railings. Um, they had to do that so they'd be able to ratchet the um, truck camper inside my bed. Uh, the camper that I bought it's actually hooked up to these hooks around the bed internally, which is nice. I didn't have to install any extra hardware to 
to have the camper um, um, you know stay in the bed of the truck and then when we got back from uh, Wisconsin uh, I had uh, I went to tractor supply and bought this um, rubber mat so um, a little better cushion and hopefully it uh, prevents you know side to side movement or any movement at all uh, I think that's better grip than the uh, the wood then um, I think I may I already said it or maybe I haven't um, have a light bar that's installed underneath there underneath the tailgate so um, makes it more visible for people um, you know for stopping or anything else and what's really great uh, about that light bar when you go in reverse real nice bright light for the camera to see now for the camper it's a 2021 uh, series camper series 620 um, by new camp got this back in December in Wisconsin I think it was Bayside Outdoors is the dealership been very happy with the uh, purchase the dealer and I'm really we really like the camper so um, some of the enhancements that we did uh, to the camper uh, we added these little velcro strips on both sides of the camper. Have, I haven't done the one in the back, but basically it is to hold these motion sensor lights. So when we uh, start camping at campgrounds or anywhere else, we can install these lights and we have light around the camper. So that'll help with uh, walking around the camper and hopefully deter folks from walking around the camper as well. But uh, I do not have one set up in the back. I probably will do that um, eventually once I get a, some more motion sensor lights. Um, oh, one of the things that we did do on these sea flow cabinets was installed these locks the 2022 models come with the locks um, so I asked the dealer um, if he could order a couple for me so I, they sent them to me I got them installed and here's the other one the other one had a little I guess measurement issue on my part show you that now once I able to open the store Why do I even have the right key oh don't have the right key sorry so um, I get kind of guesstimate they didn't have instructions installed on this door so I, I looked on to the 2022 models to see where they're at precisely. I guess I could also measure it, but um, but I had to use this washer so I can catch the lip in this bay to be able to lock it. Velcro uh, there as well, and then I also installed this little bug guard on the uh, vent system or vent for the water heater and the heating system. 
Um, I did install some uh, levels on the side here and then the one in the back just to help help me level the camper when I take it off the truck or even while it's on the truck right at the campsite. And for the inside enhancements that we did to this Series 620 camper, um, I'm not going to go in great detail of everything in this camper. Um, you could pretty much find a lot better video than what I'm showing. It's just, just going over the, our rig and what we've done to it. Um, I did install a 30 amp plug here and you're probably wondering why I would do that. I do have a solar gen, solar generator, or uh, sometimes I call it power lithium uh, power station. Um, instead of having a gas generator, I use that instead while we're boondocking. Um, it's only needed if to run AC or the microwave. Um, there is a um, auto transfer switch that's here that I've installed. Um, I didn't do the install; I had an electrician um, install it for me. Uh, so once plugged in, it all transferred to the power station. Um, if shore power, shore power wasn't plugged in, of course. So it works perfectly uh, for the couple times we used it so far. So it's been great. Uh, we added a three inch memory foam to this bed, um, which feels wonderful. Um, sleeping in it's great. I think it's even better than um, my bed at home. Uh, we, my wife added these baskets to hold various things to our camper. And a couple more baskets here by, by the sink and stove. I think that's pretty much all the hands we did. Uh, this camper also... Uh, we got, we didn't, you know, it was just whatever it was the inventory. So it has the AC, the awning, and uh, the microwave is the, um, so pretty much just uh, has everything that you can on, on the 620. Uh, at first this, uh, I guess during um, the supply chain issue that it was a max air fan. So I think originally it's supposed to be AC. But uh, um, but that left it up to the dealer to install themselves, you know, if the customer wants it. And I wanted it, um, so they uh, got that installed uh, before we picked it up. And that's pretty much it about our camper. And like I said, you probably could uh, get watch a lot better videos from someone else explain each of the features of the camper but um, it's great uh, the reason why we chose this camper um, I think it's one of the top manufacturers I, I believe that uh, I mean just the quality wise it's it's great the uh, the size of it was awesome for us. Uh, I like the fact that I could put this whole camper in uh, in, a, in our truck bed with the tailgate up. And I'll show a demo of that. So here's a demo um, of us raising the tailgate while we're uh, camping or boondocking um, or going to bed, I guess. So... Uh, we could just easily just hold our key fob here and raise the tailgate. And then once we wake up in the morning and ready to go, we just use the key fob again to open it. It's great for security wise, so we could leave valuables in here with no issues. Um, uh, well, they could still get into the camper, but they won't be able to go through the tailgate. They'll have to go through the, one of the windows. They'll have to climb up on the truck. Uh, it also helps us to be discreet, kind of. Just have all the shades down. We can sleep in here and have the tailgate up. Almost look like no one's, you know, in the vehicle. 
And then, um, like I said, it also keeps us safe or feel safe with the tailgate up while we're sleeping. So no one's coming through at our front door. One other, um, what's the other great thing about this camper that we love, how small it is? Oh, it's, you know, it's light. It's like, I think 1,800 pounds. So it's, you know, my truck that I have now, it can handle this, doesn't even feel like anything's on it other than uh, if it's very windy, you can definitely feel those side winds. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, so far we love this camper and and all the features that it has. Uh, I'm six foot four, so my head does hit the AC, but um, I don't know, I, I love the size. I mean, most folks will ask me why we have something this small. I mean, hopefully I'm not in this camper all the time. We're uh, just using it for, you know, sleep, eat, and and hopefully we're the, the places that we're at, we're, we're at more outdoors than, than inside. Another great feature of uh, having the camper inside the truck bed with the tailgate up is I don't lose any functionality of the truck. Um, I'm able to use all the cameras that's on this truck. And I, I think there's like, I don't know, six or seven cameras or something like that. Um, I'm able to use the sensors around the truck so to maneuver. Um, another great thing about having the camper inside the bed of the truck, I can fit in one parking spot so which is great um, so we could park downtown in a parking spot to go check out downtown uh, cities and so forth and it's one of the greatest things that we love about this camper and this truck hope you enjoy